Hello. Heartland New Zealand is a specialist New Zealand bank formed in 2011 from the merger of four older institutions. It's also listed on the NZX. I'm joined today by Jeff Greenslade, who is the chief executive. He's going to give us a much more detailed picture of the organization. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. Heartland's a recent, or relatively recent creation in New Zealand here in the financial services sector. Can you explain sort of the genesis of, of how it came to be and what your vision for the company is over the next few years? Sure. Um, Heartland came together uh, as an outcome of the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, so there were two building societies whose uh, core business uh, had been uh, invaded by the major banks, residential mortgages, but they still had very rich deposit bases. Uh, and then there were two lending institutions, one which provided um, consumer loans, uh, uh, motor vehicles and plant and equipment loans to small businesses, and another one that provided agricultural loans whose lending business was very strong, but their deposit base had been weakened as a result of the, um, of the crisis. So there was a complementariness around the four of them coming together, but also a common um, view that being uh, bigger uh, and stronger was um, one of the key things out of the 2008 crisis. And the combined vision was to create a New Zealand bank, uh, listed locally, uh, the only listed lo uh, local bank, uh, which was servicing uh, the economic uh, backbone of the country, and hence the name Heartland. So our focus is around the consumer market, which is at the household, it's um, you know, uh, people, uh, small business, uh, and, and the rural sector farmers, which is really the, the heart and soul of the New Zealand economy. Interesting. So what kind of uh, return of equity and growth do you expect is possible for Heartland to achieve on a sustainable basis? And also, I'm curious to know about your dividend policy, if any. Sure. So um, we are forecasting in this financial year to get into double-digit uh, return on equity. Um, we hope to get slightly above 10%. So we have been growing. Our profitability has been growing. Um, and we aim to get into the kind of bunch of uh, return on equity that is, that is uh, available for second tier Australasian banks, which is somewhere between sort of 11 and 13%. So that's the, the kind of target we have in mind in terms of where we need to go. Uh, our issue is that we have plenty of capital. Um, uh, so what we now need to do is to start growing our earnings and we're seeing very good top line growth to start utilising our capital more effectively and that way uh, improve our return on equity. So we've seen a, a steady increase in that return on equity and we expect that to continue uh, in the next few years. We have uh, been a consistent dividend payer recently um, um, and our profitability has been growing. We don't have a prescribed dividend policy um, in terms of a percentage but um, you know, we uh, have demonstrated a very, very strong track record in that regard and um, you know, we are profitable, generating a lot of cash profits. And as I said earlier, we do have plenty of capital. So um, you know, we imagine that um, dividends are something that our board is going to be you know, very favorably disposed towards. And investors love dividends, of course. Absolutely, we understand that. Um, you know, we, we are you know, seen as a, as a dividend stock and we are conscious of that. And so um, you've mentioned that your target niche um, segments where you believe that the risk reward trade-off is a bit more beneficial for shareholders. What's the basis of that position or uh, opinion? Well, the first thing that we uh, subscribe to is that wherever the big banks are going to be, we won't be. Um, they're much bigger than us. They've got more scale, more reach, um, uh, bigger infrastructure. So our first objective is to avoid head-on competition with the major banks. So we try and find areas where the banks don't go. Um, and what we're able to achieve also is uh, higher margins than the banks by targeting uh, specialist uh, banking activities. So we provide loans that uh, the banks won't do because they don't have the, uh, uh, the reach or the capability. Uh, we offer things like being at the point of purchase. So for example, in our motor vehicle loans, um, you know, our loans are positioned alongside the purchase of a vehicle. So what that means for uh, providing specialization and convenience, we're able to command a higher lending rate than um, lending to the same person um, that, that that same person would get um, through, from, from a mainstream bank. Um, so our proposition is really to find those niches, and they are niches, they are small, where the banks don't go, where by offering a specialist service or a convenience factor, we can get a higher lending rate by lending to the same person that a mainstream bank would probably lend to for a residential mortgage. Um, the, the, the typical person, say, in the consumer market that we are targeting is someone in their, say, early 30s. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that has a mortgage with a bank, so the bank does wish to lend to them, but all of their expenditure needs are coming at the same time. Um, buying a house, having children, having to buy a better car because they've now got children, having to furnish a house for the fact that they, you know, they've got a larger family. Um, so these people aren't uh, people that present a bad risk or people that turned away from a bank. It's just that uh, all of their financing needs just happen to arrive at the same time. So for example, a lot of the people we lend to in respect of motor vehicles do have a mortgage. They prefer to come to us because um, they wish to diversify from their bank or maybe they have got as much as they can possibly get from their major bank in a mortgage. But typically what they do is that we lend them money for three years over a motor car, for example, but they repay it after two years on average. So these are people who've got good jobs, they're generating good cash flow, mm. and they don't necessarily see themselves as borrowing, they see themselves as paying a car off in instalments. Right. So we don't find that they are necessarily present a, a higher risk, um, but they are prepared to pay uh, a premium over, say, a residential mortgage mm -hmm. because of the convenience factor, because it's a separate loan, uh, or it's positioned in, in a convenient way. Mm, okay, and so you've also mentioned in previous interviews that you're on the lookout for some acquisitions. What's the criteria for, for those uh, potential acquisitions? Well, the first criteria for us is we stick to our netting, so we continue to uh, play in the same field. We don't um, uh, look to go beyond our area of expertise. So we like the consumer market, uh, which is the household uh, segment. We like small business and we like uh, the rural sector, so we like farmers. Which really, when you think about it, is the backbone of the New Zealand economy. So that's the, the segments that we, um, uh, we like to target in terms of acquisitions. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing is that uh, it has to be something that is going to be earnings per share and ROE accretive. Mm -hmm. So that we are, when we're making acquisitions, we are uh, enhancing value for our shareholders. Mm -hmm. okay. You've recently acquired a stake in a peer-to-peer -peer lender. Does that reflect your view of the opportunities that lay within the peer-to-peer -peer lending sector, or is it a more defensive move on your part? It's um, a strategic move in the sense that we believe that uh, things like peer-to-peer -peer lending are, beginning, are going to become more common and more accepted. Mm -hmm. We believe that the mainstream banking system or model is at a point of inflection, um, and we think that new technology is opening up new possibilities for new entrants to either provide, like we do, a different product, or like Harmony is a different channel. So we want to be part of that um, disruption. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not afraid of it. We see it as an opportunity. Great. Thanks so much, Jeff, for joining us today. If you're interested to hear more, learn more about Heartland New Zealand, please hop online and to the edisongroup.com website and you can discover some more information. Again, Jeff, thanks for joining us. Thank you.